Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us admit that we are sinners. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in his age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. 
Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future all belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For, the found, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with si of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the word belong was repeated many times in our readings today. What does the word belong mean? To belong, first and foremost, denotes ownership. When I say, this belongs to me, it means I own this. This is my property. And so when we said in our responsorial psalm, to the Lord belongs the earth, and all that fills it, we are acknowledging that the whole of creation, including our human lives, belong to the Lord. The whole of creation, including our own lives, are owned by the Lord. In the Gospel, Jesus got into a boat, and according to St. Luke, the boat belongs to Simon, who will later be called Peter. And yet, when Jesus got into Simon's boat, it seems that Jesus became the one in command of the boat. This is symbolic of what happened to Peter when he allowed Jesus to enter into the boat of his life. It no longer belonged to him. His life already belonged to Jesus. Jesus owns him. To belong means to be owned by something or someone. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are being reminded that God owns everything. Everything belongs to God. All that we are and all that we have belong to God. And so let us not act as though everything belongs to us. Ang lahat ay pagmamayari ng Diyos dahil ang lahat, kahit ang buhay natin, ay nilikha ng Diyos. Wala talagang sa atin. Ang lahat ng sa atin at lahat ng meron tayo ang totoo ay sa Diyos. Kaya huwag tayong magpanggap na ang mga bagay na meron tayo sa mundong ito ay atin. Ano ang katunayan na hindi yan atin? Kahit kailan, pwedeng kunin yan ng Diyos. At wala tayong magagawa kapag kinuha na ng Diyos. Kasi hindi yan sa iyo. Sa Diyos yan. And so let us not grab ownership from God. Let us not pretend as though we are lords and masters of the whole of creation and even of our human lives. Pinagkatiwalaan lang tayo. Hindi tayo may ari. Diyos lamang ang nagmamay ari ng lahat. But aside from ownership, the word belong also denotes being part of. When I say I belong to this family, it means I am part of this family. And so to belong is not only ownership. To belong also means to be part of a certain group 
or a certain community. And this is what St. Paul tells us in our first reading today. He tells the Corinthians, All belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. In the sense that everything is part of you, you are part of each other, and you are part of Christ, the head of the church. And Christ belongs to God because He comes from God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is also a reminder that we are part of each other. We are connected to each other. We are related in many ways to each other. No one is isolated in the sense that he or she does not belong to anyone. Ano man ang gawin natin, dahil bahagi tayo ng isa't isa, ay tiyak may epekto sa bawat isa. In that sense, we belong to each other. We belong to God in the sense that God owns everything. We belong to each other in the sense that we are part of each other. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, being the 1st of September is not yet Christmas. This day has been declared by Pope Francis as the World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation. And today we begin a whole month we call the Season of Creation. We pay attention to the needs of creation and we remind ourselves that we are stewards of God's creation. This month, let us be reminded that everything belongs to God. And so let us be responsible, care, take care, let us take care and be responsible of God's creation. Wag nating sirain, wag nating abusuhin, wag nating dumihan ang nilikha ng Panginoon na mundo at buhay ng tao because everything belongs to God. And let us also remind ourselves that we belong to God's creation. We are part of God's creation. Anything that happens to God's creation will definitely have an effect to our human lives. Kaya kapag hindi natin inilagaan ang nilikha ng Diyos, tayo rin naman ang naapektuhan because the created world is connected to our lives. Let us take care of God's creation. It belongs to God, and we belong to it. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us thank God for always assuring us that we belong to Him and we belong to His kingdom. Please stand. When our Savior says, Come, follow me, He also calls us to follow His example of prayer, to throw wide a net of prayer for others. Let us pray in that generous way. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and all who have been called to be fishers of men may have the courage and perseverance to cast their nets in deep waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That fishermen and all those who work at sea 
may have a harvest of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the courage to tell unbelievers the good news of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may touch the lives of the sick, the sorrowing, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may receive their eternal reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of all people, through these prayers, gather together the lives of those seeking to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot 
at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh.